transport ready to go. You can hear the alarm beeping and we are set for flight on a C63. Going in three, two, one. Alright, Model Rockets 321 here, back with another video guys. Today I'm going to take a look at the Estes Universal Astro Cam. I just used it on the orbital transport and I used it on my scratch built BBX, which is a black black, black Brant rocket. Um, the camera's pretty cool. Here it is right here, I already have it open, I already have it right here. So here is the Universal Cam. It comes with this mount, it comes with some rubber bands, it comes with these paper strips that you use to mount to the rocket. Um, real simple to use, um, I just went over the instructions a few times and I had them with me when I was out in the field. Um, very simple, just one button turns it on, press and hold for two seconds, it comes on. And then you hit the button again, it'll start flashing, the blue light will start flashing. That's when you mount it into its little, oops, that's when you mount it into the holder. This piece will be strapped to the rocket and you will put the camera in like that. And then you lay lace a rubber band around it like so, like that. So it'll be on the rocket pointing down, just like that. And it's recording at this time already, not right now, but while it's on the rocket, you'll start your recording. Then you go do your safety check and you launch your rocket and it'll record the whole sequence until you press this button on top to end the recording. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool rock. I think it records in 1080p. I read the instructions, I think it said 1080p. That's gonna keep falling, so it's gonna lay it down. Yeah, it records in 1080p, I believe. I forget the frame rate and all that stuff, but pretty decent footage, um, you know, for, for a mini cam like that, with audio also. It comes with a 16 gigabyte memory card yeah, so it comes yeah, here it is 1080, so it records in 1080, um, 30 frames per second. You get um, battery charge life is 40 minutes, and it's a USB, USB 2, and you can shoot some still shots with it. So it worked out pretty well. I mounted it to the top of the orbital transport, which I have right here, and I got it so you can see the sequence and you can see the glider detach. I'm going to show you guys that footage in this video a little bit later, and I also had it mounted to... Like I said earlier, the Black Brent, the BBX. I had some special stuff planned for this rock. I wanted to do some high altitude stuff, but the first launch broke the fin. So this parachute tangled. It was just a weird day, another one of those weird launches. I also had an altimeter in there. I had some things planned. It's supposed to be three flights of this, but I, didn't, I only got a chance to get the one flight off. I didn't do an in the field repair or anything, but just basically wanted to show you guys the Universal Astro Cam. I do recommend it. Pretty good product, um, real easy to use. Very simple. Seems a little weird that you start recording, then you gotta put the camera in there. Cause you start recording, you have to see the light. I like to see what I'm doing. So to turn, you hit the top button right there and then the, the light's inside here. And then you have to cover this up so you won't see the light. <laughs> so you start recording, put it in and put the rubber band in as I just showed you. So, and it's a tiny little cam right there, dead center right there. I don't know if you can see that, but. Yeah, overall pretty good. I got some um, some decent footage. Um, you know how the, the rockets, they want to spin and everything. But the orbital transport did really well with the camera mounted to it. Um, really straight. Like, I really liked it. It was a nice straight flight. Um, I added nose weight since the last flight of the orbital. I saw how it kind of was going up and dipping, going up and dipping. That's a stall when it comes to these gliders. So I added this red clay to the tip. And it flew, it released, and it just flew a nice little trajectory. It turned and it just kept going straight. But if I add a little clay to this one side right here, I think that'll give me a little a little turn, a better little little swoop, a little spiral. I want a nice spiral of this rocket. So I flew that and also flew the Mars Lander. Um, three launches of that. The first one was really weird. I think it was on a half A, so the engine wasn't, it seemed like it was underpowered, just pretty much. Went up, popped out the parachute, but it didn't fully open and it kind of hit the ground hard. But no damage. These are tough little, tough little rockets to be an RTF. So, so it went well. Um, the orbital <laughs> landed and of course it broke the other fin this time. So I had to glue the other fin on. I, now I just lined them with epoxy so they should be strong now. I'm going to take this back out and I'm going to be doing the same launch with the camera mounted right here again. So this is where I had the camera mounted 
on top of the orbital. I had it right here like this and I was able to record the the glider release and I'm gonna um, show you guys how that looked. Like I said, it was a really, really cool flight. I really enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, pretty cool project. I mean, pretty cool camera. The Universal, the SD's Universal Astro Cam, HD rocket camera and holder, fits most rockets. Um, anything else I want to talk to you guys about that? Yeah, mounting it, you use that paper strip, which I just showed you, this, and you use some electrical tape. Use electrical tape, stick it to the body. If it's a bigger, you know, you cut it where it fits and you can, the tape will touch the, this paper and it will touch the body of the rocket as shown right there. So that give you an idea of how it works. It's pretty cool. Like I said, it's not, it's an easy way to get some video. Pretty much weighs nothing. I had it on the scale, like it very registers, very, very light. So no problem there mounting it to um, any of your rockets, even down to that, like the Alpha. I think they showed the Alpha in, in a demo of it. I thought I saw, yeah, they're right there. So they show the Alpha and um, perfect rocket for it. Perfect rocket. So yeah, it went pretty, went pretty well. So let's take a look at some video. Model Rocks 321 here, back with another video. We got the orbital transport ready to go. You can hear the alarm beeping, and we are set for flight. Flight on a C63. Going in three, two, one. Oh, there's the glider. Marcy, keep an eye on the parachute. The glider's all the way over here. You see it? You see the parachute? Keep an eye on the parachute. The glider is going way out there. So yes, I added this nose weight on the tip. It gave it a nice glide. It was better than the last one, which was kind of stalling. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight to one of the wings. I know that'll make it curve slightly. So that'll be my next move. Now let's go check out the booster. So everybody's safe in here. Everybody in this little glider, everyone survived. It did not crash. Let's go see. All right. And here we have the orbital transporter. Onboard video camera. Everything looks cool. Engine's in place. No damage, little ding there, I guess that's a zipper. Wow, a little, well, let me get you guys in frame. All right, little zipper there, I see. Little zipper came down really nice. I kind of missed it, I was following that glider because that's a small piece. And, um, oh, fin broke off again, wow. All right, so that fin, the other fin, how'd that happen? It landed pretty soft. So now the other fin came off. So I'm gonna have to definitely align these with some epoxy. All right, so let's check that out. All right, let me get this fin. Alright guys, Model Rockets 321 here. You just saw the orbital transport launch. Um, launched that on a C65, had a little damage. The glider went, went really well. Um, it went kind of, it curved and then it went straight for a little while. But I'm going to add a little bit of nose weight to the wing to make it curve. Right now I'm about to launch the Black Brand X. Should have some onboard video if everything goes well. And I have a D13, I think 10 in there. That's an Aerotech Reload 18 by 20 one of their reload motors, so we're gonna get that off right now. All right, and today we have Marcy on the launch controller. Say hi, there, say hi again. Hi, everybody. Model Rocks 321. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And check the links. Check a couple the links. links, check the links. Yes, check the links. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise. Hold it, keep holding it. Keep holding it. I heard it burn. All right, so we had a misfire. I heard the igniter burn. So we had a misfire and the thing's a copperhead, crapperhead. The thing is I left um, the other ones home. I only brought one with me for this one reload. So I'm just gonna have to go with the black powder. So I have to give this a second and I'll take it, take it down. All right. 
got the Black Brand X going on a B44Q jet motor. The other motor had a misfire and countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Parachute tangled? But it's gonna hit hard. Wow. Crashed in the dirt. Well, we having one of those days, I see. Oh, that parachute tangled. That was a good wrap. Everything should have been nice and I know what happened. I didn't do the Let me power off. What? All this twisty, this is crazy. Just wound all up, but all good. Ah, broken fin. So this is the day of the broken fins. Another day of the, of the day of the broken fins. So that's the second one. And we will see what we got. Model Rocks 321. Be sure to check the links and subscribe, folks. Alright guys, Model Rocks 321 here. So you can see the fin just hanging on. Got some top damage up there. The camera's still working. The onboard video, so there should be footage of that. Um, just a rougher day. I only brought three to fly. I got one more to fly. Hopefully that goes well. And um, what do you think so far? Are you yawning? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, there's Marcy. So um, yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna, next we got the Mars lander. We're going to do a little Mars lander action. Get a couple of those off before rolling out. Ho, ho. All right, count down again. Three, two, one. Ooh, there it is. Way up. Right over his parachute. And good. Mars Lander's coming home. Same area as before. Really nice flight on that one. A lot of boost. Model Rockets 321 here. This is the end of the video, guys. End of the launch. This is the last one for today. Gonna head out. And we'll be back. I was supposed to fly the... I was supposed to fly the um, Maxi Brute, my X-Wing fighter. Everybody voted they want to see that again. So I'm going to bring that. That'll be just a solo mission when I do because that one takes some prep time and some prep work. But other than that, today went well. The Mars Lander was the winner today. Everything else kind of, it's kind of rough. A rougher day out here. But that would ha that's what happens in this hobby. You just never know. So we are going to sign off. Model Rex 321, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.